Transportation is one of the largest contributors to human-caused climate change. In the United States alone, the transportation sector accounts for about a third of greenhouse gases. So to reverse this trend, the automotive industry is in a race to innovate their vehicles to 100% zero emissions, and progress is being made. California is leading the way, hitting a milestone in 2023, where a quarter of all new cars sold were zero emissions. But the future of transportation is intricately linked to clean energy. And that's where we meet Jackie Birdsall, senior engineering manager at Toyota North America, who spoke at the University of Southern California's Solutions for a Sustainable Future conference to talk about hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Why is also hydrogen a very good option and one that we will need in addition to the battery electric to really completely transition our transportation industry? Uh, that's a great question. And you're totally right. When the public hears electric, they only think battery electric. Uh, very few people actually know fuel cell electric vehicles exist. Um, but Toyota does make one. It's called the Toyota Mirai, which actually in Japanese means the future. And it is an electric vehicle, but instead of plugging it in and recharging it, you refill it with hydrogen, which takes about five minutes. Um, you can get 300 to 400 miles on a fill. Toyota launched the Mirai in 2015. Jackie was an early adopter, and we visited her at Toyota's fuel cell garage in Torrance, California, to see where much of the technology for the vehicle was developed. What this is, um, is it's called a hydrogen fuel cell. It combines hydrogen and oxygen to create water, and a byproduct of that water is electricity. And we use that electricity to power pretty much anything. Um, in the case of the Toyota Mirai, it powers an electric motor. Fuel cells are more energy efficient than combustion engines, and they only emit heat and water, eliminating any concerns about air pollution or greenhouse gases. But mass adoption of this technology is hindered by major infrastructure problems. Hydrogen production is going to have to get leveled up. It's going to be a huge nationwide collaboration to make sure that both the infrastructure and the technology are being deployed at a time where our customers can use them in the way that they need to to, to get around their lives. Down in Carlsbad, California, the co-founder of Aptera Motors, Chris Anthony, is banking on a free resource, the sun, to power this vehicle for future customers to get around. 98% of the time, your car is sitting. It's not doing anything. Yeah. You're in a store, you're at work, you're at right. home. Um, so wouldn't it be great if your vehicle could actually produce power while it was sitting? And that's what the Aptera does. In addition to Aptera's sustainability as a solar EV, it was designed to maximize efficiency. Its shape minimizes air resistance. It's made of lightweight composite materials and the powertrain is in the wheels. I see you have three wheels instead of four. That's yeah. by design too. By design, the, the less frontal area you have, the more aerodynamically efficient you are. So if you throw two wheels in the back, you're, ca you're catching a lot more air, so you're less aerodynamically efficient. Better efficiency means they can spend less on drivetrain and battery packs to have a lower price point with a thousand miles of range per charge. So Chris, what's your overall vision for sustainability with the Aptera? Transportation today is having a disastrous impact on our environment. We feel it uses too many resources, it's too expensive. Um, you know, so how would you rethink, reinvent transportation? And we think if you reinvented transportation, you should do it with a focus on efficiency. The Aptera is one answer for the future of transportation, but understandably, not everyone will want a two-seater or have solar in gloomier climates. But hydrogen fuel cell may not work for everyone either. So far, California is the only state with a long distance hydrogen network with less than 60 refueling stations. There's no silver bullet for the future of transportation, but rather it's going to take many innovative solutions like batteries, solar, and hydrogen fuel cell to get us to the zero emissions finish line. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your community, click the subscribe button here. You can also download the Spectrum News app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.